Green Jackal, Plain, No Man's Sky, and I managed to buy enough Herodium off the space station there from travelers and stuff that I can make a warp cell and so we can follow Atlas even more. Whoa, that's definitely way out there, isn't it? Wow, okay. So far we're okay. Oh, that's too far. That's too far. We'll have to go here. Four planets, one moon. Really? Can I not, like... Is there not a better way to get there? Because I'm trying to get from way up there to over there. I can go here. Or reactor tile required. Hmm. Kind of curious, just where we can go. Five planets, one moon. That's a pretty big system. And is it any closer than? Whoa! That was not what I meant to do. I want to go here. I don't know why. Seems like it's closer. So we're doing it. I forged my own way. Mainly because I don't want to follow anybody else. That sounds familiar. Odd. Did it always make that weird warning sound? I don't remember making those warning sounds before. Hmm. It's okay. So this isn't going to be Dallas. Oh. But I did find a space anomaly. That's interesting. Let's head to it. We know who's there. Marco Polo. No, Polo Nana, or Nanu Nanu? No, um, Polo, Polo Nanu? Think of the two people. It's interesting how it turns you around before you are allowed out. But hey, kind of makes sense, because then all you have to do is get in and push R2 to get moving, right? Hello, Polo! How are you doing? Hello, Nanu Nanu! <laughs> He's now Nanu Nanu. What can I do for you, Polo? Nuisance pirates. Who are they? Who builds their ships? Exciting to fight, though. Exciting to fight, though. Polo moves to embrace me when I enter, but I recoil instinctively, trained to defend myself after so many sudden, brutal encounters with ill-tempered wildlife. Disappointment flashes in Gek's wide eyes. I try to apologize, but the mechanic talks over me, suggesting that perhaps I would feel more comfortable in the company of pirates. 
No. Naturally, they'd attack me on sight, but I should just survive. We might glean insight into their, their technology. Transmit data. Yeah, I don't naturally survive. Pull the eyes me cautiously, pleased that the task is completed, but not willing to let the early insult go. They grunt, hand me blueprint, turn away. Dum -dum -dum -dum. Hey, what pass? You want multi pass? Is that a helmet or a gun? Oh, 23 slot, and what the world? Mine's 24. Still, what the world? I couldn't remember mine was 20, how big mine was. It's a bad problem of mine, can't remember my size. I have to have people tell me. Nada. Hi, Nanu, Nanu. Uh, Corvette Convergence Grave, non compliant, not of shell, convergence illogical, traveler data conclusive, irresistible, galaxy shape, size, distribution, air, explore more. Not as normal restraint from his jittering and dancing, the external symptoms of an internal struggle, iridescent lights, fluorescence across the visor. At times, another entity seems to stare out, across the arms firmly. Yep, 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 yep. So, same as before. Um, I don't know. Uh, resume the path? Find a shortcut. You know what? Let's find a shortcut. Alien locates a black hole. I've never done that before. So that would be fun. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to take it. Since I need to make a warp cell. And this time around, whoops. I am pretty low on supplies. Need antimatter. I got the electron vapor. I need zinc and radium. Or an antimatter. Um, I might go planet side. Mainly because I can find it in a container. Well, let's leave, see what happens. Don't know if that whole oh push button. Don't know if that whole uh, black hole thing is going to cause a problem or not. No. What if I bring up? I'm afraid to. Gonna do it anyways. The galaxy map. I was afraid to. Anomaly detected. Black hole. Oh, good. So it gives me a different path. Whew, good. I was afraid of that. I wonder if those are just different waypoints. Free. Path through galaxy. Huh. Okie dokie. Let's go to free mode real quick. Let's see if I can see those lines or not. Hard, but they're there. Huh. Okay. That's good to know. To the space station. The first stop is always this friendly space station. Although I'm pretty sure I don't have money this time around to whoa, pay for the exosuit that it could have. There's no way. 283 now. And I'm running out of resources to sell. But we have a nice area we can discover lots of stuff in. So this might be a fairly short episode. Ooh, nice ship. I just tried accessing the galaxy map, but I was pretty sure you couldn't do it unless you're in your ship. Had to test, though. Yay, Gek! I actually like the Gek the most. Ah. Okay. Hold on, dude. Didn't realize there was only one way in. Okay, maybe two. No? Just, just one. 
You have a weird setup, Boyle. Boyle. See, that could be a female. Friend, get first, give units. The small creature is busy adding up trade profits when I appear. Its eyes opens wide in anticipation of our first contact, and it rubs its fingers together greedily. It pecks emphatically at the monetary figures on its pad, then bounces up and down. I can't help but notice that it smells amazing. Uh, he says give units, so give units. The life form is clearly thrilled. It gives me something in exchange. Something I already know. But that's not too surprising. So, the reason I'm checking the space station is to see what it wants zinc. It could take lots of zinc. And plutonium. Zinc still has a higher. That's 81 per piece. Zinc is 82. No, I guess plutonium's better. So I could stock up on plutonium and make a profit that way. Hmm. Yep, yeah, that seems the best way to do it. Okay, so while I'm here, that's all I'll probably be doing is getting excess um, plutonium. And anytime I get full, I'll run up here and drop it off and make money. It seemed to work pretty well on the last planet with the H stuff. Wow, compensating? Hmm. Alright. I kind of want one of those, just because they look kind of nice. Um, I forgot how many planets were here. This is the easiest way for me to have three planets, okay. Let's check out the big planet. It's probably the one that has the life on it. There's one, two. Where's the third? It's behind the space station. Whoop! Nope. There it is. Three. All right, we'll go here first. As soon as I get farther away from the uh, space station. There we go. I could have done a subspace scan, but it would have probably taken me to the main planet. Oh wow. The secondary planet has green. The last couple of systems I've gone to, the secondary planets have all been dead, basically. Yeah, close enough. I did a scan. Scan and recharge and hurry up. Recharge faster. Nothing. Okay. Right there looks good. I don't know. I just picked a spot. So that green was not vegetation. Oh, I thought I saw a building. Um, quick scan. All right. We have something right here. What's this one? <laughs> I'm picky. Okay, I'm picky. Ah, this is good. This is a good one. This one will lead me to an artifact, I'm pretty sure. Lush planet, weather mild, sentinels low, flora undetected, fauna frequent. Alright, let's check these, because these are what I meant that might have uh, antimatter in them. Electron vapor. Okay, well, as I said, this one's probably going to be a short one. I'm saving for a reason, because I wanted to bring up this window, but this is what's cr crashing. Alright, look at all that life forms. Alright, well, looks like I will be busy trying to discover life forms. Uh, outside of that, 
I will see you in the next one. As I said, short, sweet, and continue the journey unless I find something fun. Yay! Don't spin. I'll everyone get dizzy.